Ladies and gents, hello, my name is Wasmatic and welcome to my channel. Today, as promised, we're going to be looking at cooking. Cooking is um, simple in the crafting process, but complex in as much as you have uh, quite a few places you need to visit to get the ingredients to be able to make still fairly simple dishes. So I'm going to start you off by looking at uh, what it is you can make, what ingredients you would need in the dishes, sorts of ingredients and where to get them. Um, and then the locations because the, a lot of these uh, ingredients are location specific. So let's just take a quick look at the simple recipes. When you start the game you'll be able to make light rations, I think you can make the travel rations as well. These are tier 1 recipes so you can make these. Uh, that's tier 2. So you can make tier 1 recipes uh, which is, oh okay, just light rations by the looks of it. And energizing light rations. Okay, this is super simple. You kill a mob, like a boar or a turkey, you skin it and you'll get meat. You'll get lots of different kinds of meat. Uh, those That's poultry meat that comes from turkeys, as you can see. I regularly farm turkeys. Okay, and that will make you the light rations and that will give you a health regen bonus for uh, 20 minutes and also give you an immediate heal boost for 20 seconds. So if you don't run with potions and you don't have any heals, then that's the best way to start. You can burn through an awful lot of food, so having skinning at the outset is a really good idea. Once you start to progress through into the tier 2 recipes, you can see now we're starting to see some other ingredients. And this is corn. And uh, this is corn. And now you've got some blueberries. Uh, that's a tier 3. So let's go back to the tier 2. As you progress through and you get to a tier 2, there's travel rations, really, really good food early on in the game. You still need the meat, and you can, uh, you will need the red meat, tier 2 meat, so you're going to obviously have to kill uh, some higher level animals and have an improved skinning skill. Uh, but the corn, and you will get lots of ingredients like corn, like the blueberries, which you will need to gather, and you need to go out and specifically gather them. So. For anyone who's looking for those sorts of items, things like blueberries, cabbages, broccoli, potatoes, corn, I think wheat as well is at these locations, you need to look on the map wherever you're questing and find anything that says place and looks like this. Anything that has these sorts of outlying areas, not that. <laughs> um, possibly that one, yeah, if it's a farm then these areas are going to grow food. And if you go there, they might well be farmed out by quite a few people, but um, I'm not sure about that place. I don't think that place does. Um, these are the places where you're going to get those sorts of ingredients. Cabbages, broccoli, corn, potatoes, blueberries, strawberries, anything like that you will gather from a farm location. And then you have a different kind of ingredient. And this is really for when you start to get into tier three meals. So we'll look at um, tier three. That's not a great example. Let's pick something else. Um, okay, here we go. So this is a fairly good example. So you've got the farms where you can go and harvest um, the food. By the way, to do that, you will need to um, you will need to have a sickle, and you'll need to be able to uh, you'll need to have the harvesting skill here. As you can see, I've dropped quite a bit of time into harvesting and uh, skinning. So you've got your harvesting skill, you have your sickle, and you have your skinning knife and you know that you can farm certain uh, items from farms. The other element, and let's go down to this pork chops and apple sauce recipe, which gives you strength, in increases your strength by 10 to 20 minutes and a little bit of a hot, okay? This starts to become more complex. It's still a tier two recipe. Um, for this, you will need apples. Now apples, uh, as far as I know so far in the game, I haven't been able to, in fact, it says that you can't gather them from um, farms or from harvesting this is only available from provision create containers now I've actually put in my feedback in the beta that provision containers were too difficult to find you get lots of supply containers I found an awful lot of alchemy containers but as you progress through the game provision containers become more and more rare and difficult to get these items um, so to get those items again you will need to go to quest locations like here um, you, you can also get them in farms here, so you're looking to kill mobs and uh, get into buildings uh, any, anywhere there's a container and there is a chance that it will be a provisions container. At this point in time, I don't know if these locations are fixed, the containers are fixed, 
or the rotation. So I think I'm going to assume for the purposes of my experience in the game, these are going to be fixed locations. And as we get into the full release and I progress through to level 60, I'm going to revise this video with a more detailed guide on cooking in general. So anything you need from a provision container, go to these quest locations or farms. They'll have little containers. When you kill mobs, they'll be in a building or on the floor outside. Loot those. If it's a provisions container, you're going to get anything that comes from a provision container. So if you look at that, blueberries, they come from blueberry bushes, yeah, this comes from fish. So look at pork chops and apple sauce. Okay, they come from provision, provisions containers. The other location where you need to farm to be able to progress your cooking is from herb plants. I'm going to touch on that in a little bit, little bit more detail because herbs um, and what you can derive from harvesting the herbs are location or region specific. So if you're looking for a very specific herb, I can tell you certainly for the first sort of 30 levels what locations you need to go to to get them. Um, and then you come to cooking oil, which says derived from kitchen tier two. The cooking oil comes from fish oil. Um, and so um, you need to fish. So now you can see already you're starting to get under the skin of the harvesting skills. Just for cooking, you will need skinning, you will need harvesting uh, and you will need to kill stuff to get um, resources and you will need fishing as well. So to get fish oil, you fish, you um, you salvage the fish when, you, uh, when you've caught it and that will then give you fish fillets and a chance to get fish oil. Now, hold that bit about the chance to get fish oil because I'll cover that uh, in a little bit more detail when I talk about the um, harvesting herbs in a minute. And then you have nuts, and nuts are just freely available. You can see them on the ground, and you can just gather them. So you've got the farms, you've got the killing of the animals, you've got the fishing. And now, which is probably the most confusing part for a lot of people, is the herbs. People are running around, including myself, and wondering where you can get the herbs from. So here's the lowdown. Okay, uh, herbs are things like um, paprika, oregano, dill, saffron, um, cinnamon, mint, thyme, ginger. All these things need to be gathered using the um, harvesting profession here. Now, what's really important is if I go and harvest a herb, and I'll go and quickly run over to where I know there is a, a large bunch of herbs, and we can have a look and see. So here we go. This location is in southwest Winsward, and as you can see here, these are herbs and I need a sickle to gather. Now stupidly, I forgot to bring uh, some items with me which I needed to show you. So I'm just gonna have to describe them and I hope that you can get on board. Um, the ability to get herbs. So when you harvest a herb, you'll get something called hyssop. Let's see how we get on here. So you can see I've just gathered hyssop. That's great, okay? But what we want is um, things like peppercorns, paprika, oregano. From this location particularly, you can get mint thyme and ginger and to do that you need to have uh, clothing which has a luck bonus to uh, harvesting on it and stupidly I haven't brought any with me um, and also stupidly I haven't brought any of my food I don't think no I oh here we go increases your luck when harvesting by a thousand points right so you want to um you want to improve your chances for every plant that you harvest of getting out the right herb that you want for your cooking. So if you're looking to make a very specific dish and it might ask for mint, thyme or ginger, then you want the best chance of getting that out of a, a standard farm of herbs. So here's the things that you can run. You will get clothing that will give you a bonus to look. I don't have any with me at the moment, but it will say, as on my Sickle here, harvesting luck while harvesting, gain 5% chance at finding rare items. Now you can get gloves, chest pieces, boots, pants, all with a luck bonus. So when you're coming out and you're going to do some harvesting, make a specific trip and say, I'm going to go harvesting and I'm going to put my sickle, well, your sickle will always be on. Get a sickle with luck on it and get as much clothing as you can with luck on it and then eat food like this, cooked corn. So I'm going to eat some of this now. I'm just going to see if we can see I get a proc effectively to gather anything more than hyssop. We'll just try a few plants. There you go. I got some ginger. Okay, so the luck bonus is kicking in. That's just hyssop. 
And I got some ginger again. Uh, some more mint there. So you can see sometimes it procs and sometimes it doesn't. There you go, it didn't proc then. But the more luck you have on your items and food, the more chance you have of getting. Well, there you go, there's some time. Okay. Now, in terms of where you will find those herbs, what you're looking for are any grasslands like this. Okay. So, uh, ideally, I may not... Okay, I can go over here. Um, what you're looking for is big open grasslands like this, and they are denoted by this sort of texture on the map. So anywhere that looks like that will be somewhere you can gather herbs. It will also be the same location that you can gather hemp, and hemp gives you, you can see it there in the distance, hemp will give you um, the resources, um, fibres that you need to make linen, so you can do some outfitting. So I actually run... Um, I run uh, harvesting and I've done, where's my armoring? Armoring to level 66, cooking to level 79, and a bit of alchemy as well. So this is the hemp, okay? So you're looking for these sorts of locations and what you need to do is look around the bottom of trees. So you're looking for clusters of trees like this and you'll see, unless somebody's been around and farmed these already, which is entirely possible, you will see small cluster, clusters of herbs. There we go, there's some. There, this is what you're looking for. Now let's see if we can get any procs from that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Now I do happen to know that in Windsward, particularly up in this corner here, there is a really nice little cluster of um, herbs, or you can... It's a big group in one place. But what I will show you in a minute, these, the locations that you can farm where you can absolutely maximise your, um, your time investment for gathering. This is the location I was talking about. Somebody's obviously very recently been here and um, gathered all these herbs. I'm going to stand here and we can just see if they repop while I'm talking. So we know that how to gather um, so we can get the kind of materials that we want to proc using luck as a chance to get the herbs that we need. Here's the, um, here's the lowdown of what we learned so far during beta. This is Monarch's Bluff and the best place to come in Monarch's Bluff is by far and away, this island. This island is absolutely incredible in these locations, in these locations. So what I would do is come across to the island here. There is a large group of herbs around about here on the beach, funnily enough. Um, this island in Monarch's Bluff, you just do a route round like this. Round here, I go that way, back around here. I jump down off the cliff. There's nothing here off the cliff and back around here and do that you will get lots and lots and lots of herbs on Werner Island in Monarch's Bluff. Okay, Monarch's Bluff, you need to go there if you want peppercorns, paprika, or oregano. Okay, those are the three things that you will get if you get a proc when you're gathering. You will also obviously get hyssop, which is used in alchemy to make potions. Okay, that's there. Then we have First Light, and First Light... Um, I haven't actually tested this location in first light because the area that I do farm here is so good that I don't need to. So you want to go to the settlement, which is uh, first light village. Now I head uh, kind of north out of here. And if you turn immediately right, there's a large group of herbs just there. Run around this location here and then go up here all the way up to this location, run around here. When you get to there, come around this village. I usually do a loop back here. There isn't a much around there. And then as you get through here and you get past there into this location, heading up here and up here, you will find lots of herbs on the way up. Okay, and when I get to uh, about here, I will turn around and I will come back through this along the path here. And when you get to this location, cross over and then come through here. And this location around here is where you get lots and lots, all this, lots and lots of herbs. And in first light, this is where you come if you want to gather nutmeg, dill, saffron, or cinnamon, okay? Right, and the last one that I've managed to track is where I am now, which is Winsward. And as you can see from the map here, there's lots and lots and lots of places that have this sort of grassland. Um, now, I found that the most lucrative is if I'm coming from uh, Winsford Village, I'll head out along this path, and when I get to here, I'll cut through, 
there's herbs around here. And then I will come through, I'll check both sides along the river, looking for trees, remember, so you're looking at the bases of trees, ideally. I will come round here, look around there. I don't cross over into here. Um, I try and stick here, so I'll come around this location, all around here, this here, and then along this location is perfect. There are some around here as well, and sometimes I will go up to the fort uh, and gather around there. Oh, sorry about that. Somebody followed me on Twitch while I was recording. <laughs> um, and in Winsward, what you're looking for, if you this is where you come if you want to gather mint, thyme, and ginger. Okay, this is as far as we've got in terms of understanding where we can gather locations. There is one element that I've missed. I wasn't able to find any herbs whatsoever in Brightwood. I looked everywhere, not find any herbs. <laughs> now this is all marshland in um, Weaver's Fen. But what I did find was just down in this location and I just tested it and they've got some corruption events here so I can't really have a good look because they're too high for me. Uh, Grounds here, there are some herbs which I, I found a very small number of and I was only able to gather sage from there. So, that's it. Let's recap. If you want to gather materials for cooking, you need to have skinning, you need to have gathering, and you need to have fishing, ideally. If you want to gather um, things like corn, blueberries, strawberries, potatoes, broccoli, cabbages, things that would be farmed generally, then you need to go to a farm. And... Um, there are some around here. Uh, yes, Grenville Farm here, that's a big one. This has a lot of corn, particularly. So um, that's it. For items like apples and anything else, and it will tell you in the recipe that you need to gather from provisions crates, then you need to farm around buildings and look for provisions crates. And finally, if you're looking for other ingredients like peppercorns, paprika, oregano, spices and herbs, then you need to come and use your sickle with clothing and food that gives you a bonus to look and that look will then enable you to get a proc which will help you gather the herbs rather than just the hyssop um, and again I'm going to um, just reiterate if you want peppercorns, paprika or oregano go to Monarch's Bluff if you want uh, nutmeg, dill, saffron or cinnamon go to First Light if you're looking for mint, thyme or ginger go to Winsford and then I have managed to find Sage in Weaver's Fen. And when we get into full release and I can progress to level 60, I'm going to re release a revised version of this video, which will give a full breakdown of all the herbs and where you can gather them. So a bit long, that one. I really hope it was useful. And uh, if you've got any information you can feed into this process, so put a comment below and let me know where you think um other other herbs and spices can be gathered i really appreciate it because we are building a database for this uh, within our company anyway thank you very much for, very much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if um you would like to watch me streaming i stream uh, five days a week uh, monday to friday um times vary but generally in the day gmt from about um 11 between 11 a.m and 1 1 a, uh, 1 p.m gmt well, actually, it's British summer time at the moment. So please drop over to twitch.tv forward slash wasmatic. Give me a follow there. And uh, I will see you in the future. And I can't wait to see you all on 31st of August. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.